hi everyone welcome to today's tutorial so in this tutorial we're going to discuss how we can um, prove trigonometric identities so there are a few identities that you need to put in mind whenever you've been taught to prove um, the trig identities the most important one is the pythagorean identity so the pythagorean identity states that uh, sine uh, sine uh, squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. This one is identically equal to 1. So we can manipulate this same um, uh, trigonometric identity um, to, I mean, to form other identities. For instance, if we divide everything by sine, we divide the whole equation by sine squared x, sine squared x, sine squared x. So when you divide the whole equation by sine squared x, we're going to get 1 plus, uh, we know that cos over sine is simply just cot. So since we have it, we have a squared there, we also had, have to add a squared there. So this one will be identically equal to 1 over sine is simply just cosec, cosec squared x. Okay, so this is also another important trig identity. So the first one was this one. And then the second one is this one. So we can also look at another one, uh, which we form by dividing uh, um, cos into the uh, Pythagorean identity. So the Pythagorean identity is sine squared x plus uh, cos squared x is identically equal to 1. So if we divide everything by cos squared x, cos uh, squared x cos uh, squared x so we're going to get uh, this first part will give us tan squared x then we say plus then this uh, second term will give us one cos over cos will give us one this will be identically equal to sec squared x so this is the third um, trig identity that you have to put in mind then this was our first one and then we have so far formed three, but there are also other trig identities that we can form. I mean, that are already there, like the identity for tan. We know that tan x is simply just equal to, um, is, is simply just equal to sine x over cos x. And then we also have cot x is simply which is simply equal to uh, cos x over sine x so these are the two trig identities for uh, tan yeah so cot is also written as 1 over tan x still the same and then there are also other compound angle identities which if you need them i can uh, forward, I can forward a link to you so that you can go through them if you really need them. Okay, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do so by clicking on the subscription button. And then if you need any questions or help in mathematics, physics, or chemistry, feel free to contact me on any of my lines on the screen. And don't forget to join my um, my whatsapp rather my telegram group the link is just in the description um, of this same video all right so let's quickly now solve these questions that we have here all right so the first one here if we if we take the first one um, if we uh, if we take this first one the first rule that you should uh, put in mind whenever you're solving trig identities is that you always have to get the most complicated part. The one which looks more complex is the one that you get. And then you simplify it to a simple one. You can't start from the simple one and then begin to com to make something complex. So you always start with the complex one and then you simplify it to the one that looks uh, simple. So for A, I'm going to take this part because it looks more complex than this other part. So I'm going to get uh, the left hand side. So L H, let me say let the left hand side be equal to 
will be identically equal to the root of 1 plus sine x over 1 minus sine x. So I'm going to use the principle of the conjugate to solve this. So I'm going to change this. Rather, I'm going to reduce this to sec x plus tan x. So how do I do that? So the conjugate is simply just, um, the conjugate of the denominator is simply just the same denominator, but the difference will just be the sign in between there. So I'm going to do this just uh, the way it is under the square root. Yeah, so I'm not going to take, uh, I'm not going to remove the square root first. All right, so let's, l let me quickly do that. Okay, so this is what I'm going to have. We'll have something like this. So the left hand side is going to be identically equal to the square root of 1 plus sine x and of course the conjugate of the denominator is also 1 plus sine x because the sign here is minus so we're going to put a plus there. So we, d we multiply this conjugate to both the numerator and the denominator. So this is the one I'm multiplying to the denominator. So let's see what this will give us. Okay, so if I multiply what is on top there, this is just the same as writing 1 plus sine x squared, because they are the same. Then down here, if I do the multiplication, Okay, so this squared is supposed to go up to down. Okay, so down there, this is a difference of two squares, which can also be written as one squared. Um, this is one, one squared minus sine squared x. So, having done this, we can now simplify it. So this square and that square goes. So we're going to remain with one plus sine x as a numerator and then the denominator uh, this will be simplified to 1 minus sine squared x but from the Pythagorean identity remember we said sine squared x plus cos uh, squared x is identically equal to 1 so we can make sine squared x the subject uh, rather we can make cos squared x the subject meaning we're going to have cos squared x is, uh, is identically equal to 1 minus sine squared x. I've just taken this sine squared x to the other side of the equal sign. So while there is 1 minus sine squared x, I can replace with cos squared x. So the left hand side will then become 1 plus sine x, everything divided by uh, the square root of cos squared x. You can see that that in that squared cos so we're just going to remain with uh, on the left hand side we're just going to remain with one plus sine x then everything over cos x which can further be written as uh, one over cos x plus sine x over cos x so one over cos x so one over cos x is simply just sec x then plus uh, sine over cos x is simply just tan x so you can see that the left hand side so uh, since the left hand side is now equal to what uh, the right hand side this side which is uh, RHS since the left hand side is equal to the R the right hand side then we have proof we can say hence proof this is how you prove this uh, identity there okay let's quickly do this one so this one is also straightforward one thing you just have to look at is um, the identities that I showed you at the beginning so um, sec, okay, let me write it here. So we have sine 
open brackets sec is simply just 1 over cos x and then plus and then cosec cosec is simply just um, cosec is simply just 1 over sine x yeah cosec is simply just 1 over sine x okay so this is not supposed to be inverse this is not supposed to be there yeah there was an error in typing so this is not supposed to be there so now this is what we have cosec x is simply just 1 over sine x then we're dividing everything by cos x but of course tan x can be written as sine x over cos x so we're saying this is the left hand side that we've taken all right so the left hand side will therefore be equal to uh when you multiply this sign x through out the brackets there you're going to get um yeah you're going to get sine squared x over cos x then plus sine squared x uh over sine x uh, so meaning one sign there will cancel with one sign there meaning you just remain with sine x there over one and then everything divided by this cos and that cos will go just remain with sine x there so the left hand side will therefore be equal to if we divide this into what is on top there if we divide sine into what is on top which is the numerator we're going to have sine squared x over cos x sine x then plus uh, sine x over sine x yeah so this sign and one sign from there will go so just remain with so on the left hand side we're just going to remain with sine x over cos x then we say plus then sine x uh, sine x over sine x this will give us one so the left hand side becomes if you remember sine x over cos x is simply just equal to tan x and then we have plus one there so this is what is there hence proved all right so this is how you prove identities. Um, thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Uh, make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And please click the notification button there so that you don't miss out the videos that I'm going to be posting. And watch out for a new program that is going to be on the same channel. My name is Amted. Shalom, shalom.